me start with an example. Say you're in a room with a button, and you know that something will happen when you press that button. You don't know exactly what, but something will happen. It could be something terrific, something that could save lives. It could also be catastrophic, killing orphans and puppies the whole nine yards. But you have absolutely no way of knowing. What you do know is that you have agency over whether or not you press that button. Pressing it is entirely your choice. With that said, if you did press the button, should you be held accountable for the consequences of these actions even if you didn't know what they would be? Should someone be held accountable for something in which they have agency, but no knowledge on the possible outcome? Answer by pressing the button of which you agree most strongly with. Once you're finished, exit back out into the hallway. Your next trial is waiting. That's so hard. That is just... That's like an immeasurably hard question to ask because I feel like it depends on the situation. Like... Like in a situation like that, where like if you were to push the button and something super terrible happens, whatever terrible thing happens, those people are... And like the people affected by that are gonna... They're gonna want justice. They're... You know, they're gonna want that, that closure through justice, which I entirely understand. But, like, at the same time, like, is it fair to punish someone if they had no idea what they were doing? Like... Like, I feel like that's like the concept of like, like children, like very young children. Like, if you were to take a kid and be like, oh hey, you did this really bad thing, but you didn't know that it was bad. So now I'm gonna like, I don't know, give you a spanking. You know, like, I don't feel like that's fair. You know? Like, it, it just doesn't seem right. But at the same time, like, what do you do? Because, in the end, you still did impact that. You still did do something. You, you had the option to walk away. If there's a 50-50 chance something horrible is going to happen, you still know that there's a 50-50 chance something horrible is going to happen. So I feel like, by you choosing to take that risk, you are also choosing to take that responsibility. That's a really, really heavy thing to ask. I'm gonna say yeah. It's because like, like I said, like, by, by choosing to take that risk, I feel like you should have the knowledge that that comes with the like, like outcome of that. Like, I don't know, I guess another example is like, if I were to say something to my friend and my friend is like, hey, that's kind of hurtful. I didn't know that that, that thing that I said was going to be hurtful necessarily, but it still was, so I still need to take accountability for that. And I think that's what I'm going to go with. Because like, while you may not be controlling it, you're still causing it. And like, you have to take ownership for that. So I'm, I'm going to say yeah. Alright. Are you getting close? There's four more. Let's go to number five. Right back in my house. What's going on here? So we got baby toys. Oh, that's my kid. Hey, little buddy. I know, I know. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, darn it. Where'd I put the baby food? No, I already got it out of there. I set it down somewhere. You when I put something down and I don't know where I put it? Oh, I know. I'll find it, I'll find it. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> 
Little baby sounds. Where did you put it? It's not in the kitchen. The little sounds. Oh, there it is. Right? No? Is it baby food? Baby food. There you are. Let's get this to Joseph. Hey, kid. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat up. There you go. Are you getting tired? Come on. Aww. Let's put you down for a nap. I'm never going to let anything happen to you, buddy. You're going to be okay. And I'm going to make sure I'm okay. So I can take care of you. We'll get that money. Don't you worry. Also get help for your addiction, please. So then you can take care of your son. Because this is not a good thing to be tangled up in. Especially with an infant child. Lay him down. Sleep take tight, him buddy. I like that when he lays down, it's just... Okay, I need to get some work done. And that's it. That's how he lays. I'll check on the mail. Maybe my email, <laughs> too. Water has been acting up a bit, too. Maybe I can check that out in the basement. All right. Well, let's check the email first, since we're right here. Wait, they're gonna start laying off officers? I... I can't lose this job. Hello, officers and detectives. I hope you are all well in these difficult times. I know the past few weeks have been very difficult, and things don't seem to be easing up soon. I wasn't done. There's no easy way to say this, so we'll get straight to the point. This precinct will be laying off both officers and detectives. While the matter of how many is not certain, be prepared for the worst. I suggest everybody have a safety plan in the event that you must leave the precinct. I'll try to get more information on the subject and I will be updating all of you as more details come to light. Please contact me if you have any questions, Captain Stark. Yikes. This is not good for this man. He already has so much shit going on. Alright, close that. Let's go downstairs. Bathroom? Are they still in here? Shit, I'm all out of meds. I think I might be able to afford a bit more this week. Yikes. That's really bad. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. Uh, let's go down to the basement. We wanted to go lift the water, right? This is the grungiest hallway I've ever seen. Laundry. Go check it out. Ah, I got canned food. A little tricycle. A wrench. Hmm. Ah, looks like a bolt came loose. Yeah. I need something to tighten it. Should have a wrench around here somewhere. Right here. This will help with the water tank. There. there that should go. fix things. Sweet. Do you have laundry? Oh, it's just like three towels. Ah, you can do it later. What else did I need to do? Let's see. I need to check on my bills and my email. Oh, and the water tank downstairs needs to be fixed. So I have to check my bills. Where would that be? What is... Looks like a home goods magazine. Cute. able to forgive myself for this. It'll be worth it, though. As long as I can afford medicine and keep him fed. I'm not leaving you anytime soon, buddy. Oh, and look here. Says that Evelyn has finally officially joined the force. Good for her. I hope she does good things and doesn't follow in his footsteps. I always looked at all that before. Where are your bills? 
You got a firefighter jacket in your house. New bills over here. Yeah. More bills. I, I can't pay for all of these. I'm gonna need to prioritize. Yeah, probably water. And then electricity or something, depending on where you live. <sighs> Hello? Jesus, at least pretend to be happy to hear from me. No. What do you need me to do? <sighs> you really aren't any fun, are you? Charlie, just tell me what the hell you need me to do. Hey, 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 relax, man. Keep cool. I got another job for you. And then I get my money? And then you'll get your money. <sighs> What's the job? You know the laundromat on 8th? Yeah, what about it? No, don't tell That's me. That's my laundromat, and I have a bit of evidence there. You're fronting using a laundromat? How cliche can Hey! I didn't ask for you to tell me how to run my goddamn business! I... I'm sorry. Yikes. What do you need? We're moving our operations elsewhere. Go to the laundromat tomorrow night and clean up the, uh, <clears throat> back room. Okay, I'll, uh... I'll take care of it. I'll give you more info later. One last job, then I get the money. Finish this, and you'll have enough to take care of everything you need. Good. You better not be a setup. I'll be there. Very man. He has to look after Joseph. He's just a baby. Mm -hmm. You better not set me up. You, uh, you really cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to yeah, discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just you seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I typically only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again, you're still a terrible person. Things really are more black and white than you'd think. Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... Pew! <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. No, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting for you. I like that through this process you could hear this guy, like the phone, the phone person, kind of like processing through that not everything is black and white. Because... So far, I think that's what this whole guy, game is trying to get you, like, you as the player to realize. It's just, you, not everything is cut and clean. You can't judge people based on one action alone. So we're in here. Hmm. There it is. That should just about do it. Now, let's put these to use. So, just four of these, and there it goes. Freaky. It's a whole hidden door. Oh, I still have my black light. It's so dark in here mm. and cold okay let's check this out this seems like a setup Charlie seemed to emphasize wanting his laptop's hard drive erased maybe I should start there hmm oh, you got surveillance I guess they were using these cameras as a lookout it's best to have that footage wiped. Yeah, you don't... If you're running a, a hideout, I don't think you want any footage. You're not posting? Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. It needs oh, something to carry it in. The duffel bag. I'm gonna go get it. Let's go back up the stairs. Oh, 
Should help me carry everything down there. Ugh. Poor guy. I like I feel bad for him. Like that's a hard thing to have to go through. And like, especially because he's on his own. And like how he's tangled up in his shit. Jesus. Ugh. What were you planning to do with these, Charlie? Doesn't matter. God, Charlie's got a small fortune down here. Well, I guess this is how they kept this room warm. It's freezing down here. But it is a cellar. <laughs> Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. Is there anything in here? No. I appreciate the pinups. The like 50s era. 50s? 80s? Whatever it is. I appreciate the style. It reminds me of Fallout. Like Fallout 3? 4? I dig it. Let's see what... Oh, damn it. Mm. Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it. Ah. Who needs a password? Password is probably just password. Mm, that's it. Good, Good thing, thing Charlie yes. gave me the code to do this. Can't imagine he gives that out too freely. This must have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. Oh, no. I guess this explains where a lot of this money is coming from. How many people is he dealing to? I don't think it matters, and I don't think you want to know. Uh. Is that everything I need? I don't know what that means. Yeah, this will need to go. And... Are there handprints? No. Oh, there is. Brought my own towel this time. Live and learn. Hmm. I'm glad I at least seem to have the sensibility to like wear gloves. Cause like I don't have handprints anywhere. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. Alright. Hello? What is it? Did you mess something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? We got a problem with... No problem. I'll get back to it. But after this, I want my money. And you'll get it. Do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. You better give it to me. He's going through all this trouble. This seems like a setup. It still seems so bad. Matthew? Evelyn? What are you doing here? I know what you've been doing. What are you talking Listen, about? Listen, I may be new to the Force, but I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I saw you driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, but... But this? I looked up to you. I'm sorry, Ev- Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, but please, I need this. Listen, Matthew, I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades and you've been highly regarded. I'm gonna have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have Leave to- with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. You- You need to own up Please, to- Please, Ev. Yeah. I need this job. 
I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it's time. You gotta start somewhere. Mm. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt, I can't pay you. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. That doesn't sound like a done job to me. Charlie, you son of a bitch. Plus, money is tight. I need what do you mean money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for me. I appreciate the help. So as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over. Yikes. Just keeps getting worse for the poor guy. All right. Hello. No, I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse. I mean, your yeah. intentions are good, but God, I, I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing crimes, you are helping criminals, but... No, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted out. Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to question you just one last time, if you'll indulge me. All right. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay, into the next room you go. Chop, chop. All right, I guess we're going into the next room. 